Good evening guys, how are you doing? As mentioned on Wednesday, in today's deck guide we are looking at Miracle Rogue, or more precisely the Malagas Rogue variant. The Miracle Rogue deck with Conceal, Leroy Jenkins and so on will most likely be coming on the next Wednesday. The following decklist was made by Risen, a popular streamer on Twitch who was able to reach Legend with this deck on all three Hearthstone servers. Chess Dude uh, was also playing a similar decklist over the last couple of weeks and claimed the number one spot on the North American server with a 16 to 0 win streak. So all in all you can say that Malagos Rook is a pretty solid deck but still you won't see the class as often as some of the more popular ones on the ladder. Malagos Rogue is a combo deck built around the legendary dragon Malagos and his ability to increase your spell damage to 5 more giving you an insane burst potential. In combination with Emperor Thorazan you are able to get your already cheap spells for free or nearly free and burst down your opponent's life in a single turn. Gadgetsan Auctioneer on the other hand functions as a super fast drawing mechanism that allows you to draw through your deck to find your winning combination cards. With the right setup you may be able to draw 5 or more cards in a single turn. The greatest strength of Malagos Rook is also its biggest weakness. While it performs very well against most current meta decks, it is also weak against specific other deck types. In particular is Agro Shaman a dead matchup, but others can be a problem as well, as you may see later when we look at win weights. This is partly because of uh, the loss of Blood Fury, which cripples the AoE damage potential quite a bit. So if you can achieve some good results with the deck, it depends on the meta you are facing. As a tournament player, it's easier to predict which decks you are facing and therefore you see lots of rogues with solid standings in the tournament scene. The deck is not easy to play, so you definitely need some practice before showing success. But don't give up too early, it's a very good deck. For the mulligan you are looking for cards to prevent the early aggression by your opponents and survive the early to mid game to set up for your winning combinations. While the mulligan overview gives you a general feeling what you need to draw at the start of the game, you need to consider some specific class matchups that will alter the standard mulligan a bit. Against Zulok you definitely are looking for fan of knives at the start otherwise he may overrun you early. Two fan of knives are obviously even better. Against Root with all the ramp potential, Sub becomes a top priority. You can slow him down and put his plate in a way to rest, not the worst outcome. If you think you are facing a slower deck, it is good to keep Tom Pillager or sometimes even the auctioneer at hand. This may often be the best play in a mirror match for example. In these games, your win rate will improve drastically if you are able to start your drawing engine first and put the pressure onto your opponent. A good starting combination might as well be a preparation plus a good spell like Zap or a Fiskerade plus Edwin van Clef. If you know that your opponent's deck can't deal with a turn 2 or turn 3 6-6 six, six to 8-8 eight, eight minion, this move is super strong. As mentioned earlier, Malagos Rogue is doing some great work versus specific matchups while facing a harder time against some others. With the rise of Midrange Hunter and Death Rattle Priest over the last week, at least from my own experience, our deck gets much stronger than it was two weeks ago when maybe 50% of the latter were playing Shaman decks. Sadly, Miracle Rogue decks don't perform too good against all kinds of warrior decks. You can expect to have a win rate against warrior between uh, 35 and 45 percent depending on the type of warrior your opponent is using. All in all you should expect to get a positive win rate with Maligos Rogue. It will only tend to move down a lot if your meta at the moment is really only warrior and aggro shaman. Otherwise you should be good. Finally the replacement section. First of all I have to say that Malagos and the Emperor cannot be replaced, otherwise the deck won't work as it should be. Second, some of you may find Serral missing in the current deck list, so if you want to play him you can change one earthen ring fast here with Serral. This is in general a good idea if you are facing more control than Echo decks. Against Echo uh, decks you may want to keep um, earthen and get some more healing power for your deck. 
if you're missing Blood Mage Thanos, you can swap it with uh, Cobalt Geomancer. The Cobalt is a weaker alternative to Thanos and you're missing out on the extra draw, but it will work for the spell damage. Edwin's replacement will be a question adventurer. Not as good as Edwin, but he can get big quite fast in these woke decks, so you will have fun with him nonetheless. Lastly, if you're facing aqua over aqua decks, consider putting in a Dark Iron Skalker in the deck. He is another AoE option for you that you should be considering. As always, I have two example matches prepared for you guys that will follow now. If the deck guide was helpful to you, consider a subscription to my channel or a thumbs up. It's free and will support me to make more content in the future. Have a nice Sunday, fellas. See ya. Valera versus Garrosh. Victory or death. Watch your back. Game one, the Rogue versus Varia. Against the Varia, we are we are looking for Shadow Strike. Preparation isn't needed. The shift can be loaded to the deck as well. We will keep the agent. And that's great. Even better. Okay, so we are good prepared for the start. So he's probably playing a Dragon Echo deck. Okay. Here we will go. Kill his minion with backstab. Here we go. Weapon and heal back to 27. Just play the hero power. And play the deadly poison as well. So no aggro deck. the Emperor, most likely. Do you have the artifact? Release for a golden monkey. So definitely the Emperor right now.
guess we will play the Thanos to activate the CI giant agent and kill the champion or the Elise. We will kill the Elise. You he will attack then with the X and the champion will attack the Thanos. Great. We will play the auction. The Zap him back at hand. Here we go. Kill the champion. Ah! And make another weapon. damage plus eight and that's exactly lethal damage to Shoma. Then we can heal the Octane. Heal the Shoma. Attack for four. Play another third break. And another damage. More than enough, we can put out. Wow, that's uh, eight, eighteen. And he's giving up. Game 2, Rogue versus another warrior. Watch your back. We will keep the deadly poison and one agent. We are looking for some shadow strike or backstab for the third card. Fun cleave, cleave, cleave. Preparation, okay. Sir Finlay, so that means that he is most likely an aqua warrior, another one. Hmm. 
we are doing the dagger. He chooses a heal ability. We won't attack. We can next turn use the deadly poison or the agent and backstab for whatever he's playing. Deadly Poison and some Clef kill the minion and have a big threat on the board on turn 3. Okay, execute. No execute and he's attacking. Interesting. I don't know if this was the right play by him. We will play the Tom Pillager and do backstab. Attack for six and keep our weapon. He will take another 6 damage and is down to 12. We can attack with the Tom Pillager up, play Thanos and the Agent. We have a strong board, uh, 9 damage. Not this way, we could do 12, 60 damage next turn. We won't attack here. Bro, that's bad. And of course, we are. Surviving with the Talnos. Let's see another card. Tom Pillager is good. We will we kill the Acolyte of Pain. Do one damage, play the Tom Pillager. Another coin for us. So we can play Maligos if we draw him next turn. And we don't. Of course.
A to the face. All right, the viscerate. Uh, that means we have nine, 10, 11. Not quite enough, we will play the fan of knives. And we can zap him. So we need to waste 8 mana next turn again. amount of new cards coin 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 how much is it six eight fourteen oh that's not enough short we will play the Emperor now so we can do some damage next turn pretty cheap he will heal back to 13 maybe and we have 10 12 13 plus Minions, if they survive. And we have a 10% chance to draw Maligos and win the game right away. Okay, he wants more armor. Did he have a whirlwind? Is that the question? Uh, doesn't look like it. Execute, okay. So we have one, in fact. This guy's toast. 